Okay, I'm cutting the uh, holes for the cabane uprights now. So what I've done is I've um, just drawn a line up vertically from here and uh, worked out where the hole had to go by sort of looking at it from the front and it turned out to be about one and a half centimetres up to that edge and uh, another two, two centimetres up to the top of the hole. So what I did was I, I drilled some small holes to start off with and then I was able to get in um, a little, little file like this and a little uh, nail file like this just to get the hole right and uh, eventually uh, got it the right size like this so you can fit in the upright and the wire so Right, you need to glue together the pieces of spruce over the plan. Don't make the mistake I used of putting tissue paper underneath and then ripping the plan to bits when you take it off. And then what you can do is place this over the fuselage. And like I've already cut some of these slots out, but with the other side, what I'll do is I'll... Um, I'll, I'll have this made up first and then be able to put this in place and then mark out uh, where the cuts have to be done. So obviously I've done the diagonal cut here, but, or I've done this cut, um, but this one here I've just marked out and now what I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll cut this slot here out. Just marking out the drilling holes on the platform as per plan. So I'm just measuring it out, drawing a line across, marking individual holes. So one row on that side and two rows on this side. Uh, I've wrapped the steel rods with masking tape. Not too sure what the point of this is but uh, it's quite easy to do. Just uh, lay out a piece of tape, uh, put the bar on top and you know just uh, wrap it over, trim it so that it only goes around the rod uh, one and a half times as per the instructions and bob to your ankle. Okay so here's the stitching done. I used um, a needle out of my wife's sewing box, and I've used it, I've used a braiding fishing line, and uh, I'll, I'll trim off the ends of the cord there, and uh, just uh, super glue the ends to make sure nothing unravels. I just need to glue these two locating lugs onto the front edge, right there and there, and the um, captive T-nuts, they need to fit on the underside of this plate, underneath these two holes. I had to re-drill the holes very slightly in the plate uh, to match up with the holes in the wing, but uh, it's worked out okay. Okay, here are the uh, supports glued in place, and the wires are slightly too long, so I've just marked them off, and I'm going to be using the Dremel tool just to trim these to the right length. Uh, this is nearly the end of the cabane structure so we have this piece here that we need to uh, fix to the front to fare in 
from the leading edge here to the underside of the cabane and what I'm going to do is um, cut a notch in the back of this piece and then actually glue it to the center section so that it overlaps the uh, front edge of the platform so it's actually glued onto here but it overlaps that and then uh, blend it into the leading edge so I think that'll work okay and then piece 140 uh, this piece this obviously has to be uh, cut to shape and fitted on the uh, base here and uh, again that has to be made so that it overlaps this bit here so I have, have a, a, a tongue on it to match up with this piece and then sand it to a profile so that it uh, has a sort of a rounded bottom but finishes short of where the uh, wing bolts will be coming through here so those are the final two pieces now the other piece that I wanted to ask advice about if anybody knows is how to finish off these struts at the moment we've got the um, hardwood strut and a piece of wire in front of it and what I've done is I've, I've glued them with epoxy so everything is very rigid but how do you actually finish this off to make it look nice and do you cover it or any ideas thanks <laughs>